It's been almost a year since I've done an update on pre-search nodes, and what we'll be doing in this video is setting one up on a virtual private server. We'll be setting up the service on RackNerd, which is one of the most cost-effective ways to get a VPS up and running, so let's check it out. And we are at the pre-search node website, and that URL is nodes.presearch.com. If you don't have a pre-search account already set up, all you have to do is just register over here, top right-hand corner, click on it. So once you get to the screen, we're going to click on create an account. And the only thing that's required here to sign up is an email address and password. I'll make sure I link this in the description below, and then you're set up. So I'm already logged in here. So I'm going to go over here into the nodes dashboard. Inside the dashboard is where you're going to find your stake tokens and tokens that are available to stake as well as the registration code. Now the registration code, you want to take a note of where this is located because we're referring to this later on. Scroll down a little bit further here and then you'll have all the nodes listed. So you can see I have several already set up. I have about 13, I believe, set up right now. And now what I'm gonna be doing is setting up a new one using a VPS service. Previously, you only needed 2,000, but that changed on July 1st, 2022, where the minimum staking requirement changed from 2,000 to 4,000. Now, if you haven't already purchased pre-tokens and you're looking to do that, you can check out this video where I walk you through the steps to buy pre-tokens on KuCoin. KuCoin is not the only way that you can buy pre-search tokens, but it does have the highest amount of volume to make sure that your order gets filled. And what I'm gonna do now is jump over to the Rackner website. This service is reliable and has the lowest price point. So to begin, we're going to go over to VPS and then we can select the KVM VPS. We'll see all the options over here. And because the requirements for the pre-search node isn't very high, we can actually just select the very first option here, which is the 512 meg service with one V core, 500 gigs of bandwidth, and we get an IP and it's only $22.99 per year. That's significantly lower than a lot of the other competition. Again, you can use any VPS. We're going to be using this one in this example. Now at the very bottom, what I'm going to be selecting is I'm going to be selecting the location. And then we also have the Ubuntu 18.4 with Docker pre-installed. So this is actually going to save us a step and I'm going to be selecting that right now. So I'm going to click on continue. I'm going to enter in all my billing information and I'll jump over to the next step. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. I'm going to go in my email log and you can see over here I have my KVM VPS login information. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So I get a pop-up window over here and I get all the information I require to log into my server using PuTTY. So I have the IP address. I have, well, the username is going to be root. It's always root. And then I get this alphanumeric long password and the default port, which is 22. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this window and I have my PuTTY opened up. And if you don't have PuTTY installed, you can download it directly from this URL that I'll link in the description below. Uh, it's a quick installation, a very small file, and it is very reliable. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in the IP address. I'm just going to copy it right over here and put it in. We have the port as 22. That's the default part. I'm going to click on open and you might get a security alert like this. Just click on accept. And then we have the login screen over here. So we know that the username is going to be root. So we're just going to go ahead and type in root. And then we're going to have the uh, password. Password's right over here. I'm going to copy and paste that in. It doesn't show up when you're inside the terminal window. Hit enter and then we get the welcome message. Now, because we have Docker already installed, we do not need to install Docker. We can jump over to the next step, which is by pasting in this script right over here. Now, this script has been taken directly out of the pre-search documentation. The only thing that we need to modify is the registration code. So your registration code, which is going to be right over here, we're actually going to be deleting that and we're going to put in our registration code. And that is going to be found inside your pre-search dashboard. So let me just open that up right now. And we're at the pre-search dashboard and we have our registration code. If you want to see, just have to click on the eyeball over here, or you can just click on copy. Now this registration code is something that you do not want to share with anybody. This is unique to you and your service. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and then I'm just going to paste in my registration code uh, so it's immediately after the equals you put in your registration code and then we can go ahead and highlight the full section over here we're going to copy it and then we're going to minimize the window and now what we're going to do is just paste it in our terminal window um, and then we just hit enter and it's going to go ahead and run it what's going to happen now is it's going to download and install all the components required for the node so you can see that the pre-search logo just popped up over here uh, we have the public key saved, the private key saved, and it's listening for searches. What I'll do is I'll just open up my dashboard. There we go. So this is the new node that I've just set up right now. There is no pre-staked here and there's no description. So it's a great idea right now to fill in those details. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the edit option. So the first thing that it's asking is for the pre-staked amount. And so you can see that the minimum staked amount is 4,000 pre, which I have a balance of right now. But if you don't have any and you want to buy, you can click on the buy button right over here and it'll take you to the page where you can buy some pre-tokens from the marketplace or you can transfer it and it's going to give you an address. 
So if you click on from blockchain, if you purchase your pre-search tokens from an exchange and now you want to send it to your node, this is the address that you're going to use to send it. If you're not sure how to buy it from an exchange and you want to see instructions on how to do that, I created this video right over here and this shows you how to buy pre-tokens from KuCoin. So I'm going to go back over to the node dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and put in 4,000. 4,000 is the minimum amount staked. Also, if you stake anything above that, it doesn't make a difference. If I put in the 4,354, I'd get the same return as I would if I only had 4,000 pre token stake. You can go ahead and give it a name. The, the name is actually optional. I'm going to be using in a similar name that I've been using in the past three for pre-search zero, zero. This is my 14th one that I'm setting up dash rock nerd. And then the city, you can use any naming convention or any name here. This is just a label. So you know what it is. We scroll down a little bit further for gateway pools. I'm going to be leaving it as the default, which is all gateway pools. And next, the great idea is to have this option to send an email when it's disconnected and when it's it's reconnected service ever goes out you're notified by email and it's considered disconnected after five minutes i think these are great features to have turned on so once you have that all filled out you can go ahead and click on the update button and then we can go back over to our pre-search node list so you can see down here this is the one that i just set up my node connected to the network and i have 4,000 pre-tokens staked and then you'll have searches that have taken place over time and a reliability score. And this will increase and decrease over time as your node is being used. And then you get a paid out balance, which is over here on the right hand side. And if I scroll up at the top here, you can see that the scores vary depending on where they are and where they're being used and uh, the accumulated balances. And once you have a balance that's been accumulated, you can see that I have some unclaimed pre over here. This is what's being paid out to me for my nodes on the network. All I have to do when it's done is I click on the claim button and it'll ask me if I want to claim it now. And I can go ahead and claim that and it's going to transfer from this into my wallet. And that's how you do it. That's how you create a pre-search node using Rackner VPS. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please smash the like button. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.